go, sorry. A little bit of technical difficulties there. Um, so this is the version I actually sat down with some uh, of my, um, well, the local FNM place I've been playing since I moved. Uh, had some guys sit down with me and we tweaked the deck. And I think I, I've settled on some fewer cute cards and some other cards that I wasn't too keen on have come back just because, like, I, I think that I thought too much of Shadow. And there are other decks that I'm going to face. So in those other matchups, like, I want something like Shriek Maw. Something that I wanted to test that we haven't tested yet is a Mold Drifter. Um, doesn't die to push. That's a plus. But obviously it's just... It's just something we can traverse up just to draw th two. Uh, that might not make the final version, but that's an interesting idea. You feeling good about it? Nice, balls. Alchemist Refuge? Oh, baby. That does seem sweet to me. Brought back the second cage. I added some rejections because the Eldrazi Tron matchup is very real. Um, they're good against Affinity, too. Anyway. Various other cards that I'll probably come up against. Alright, 8 says, played against three different Acetol decks. You've caused a ruckus. I'm sorry. Were you, want, were you playing one of them? Were you playing one of them? So here's my game plan. Tonight we're going to do, uh, unless there's any song requests that happens, we're going to do a, uh, a quiet stream. Does that make any sense? How about a stream where it's just, just commentary? Does that make more sense? So basically, yeah, a, a quiet stream. Uh, Glenn made it back into the main board, and that's just because we think it's the most flexible. It's going to have more matchup applications than Thrun will, or than even maybe uh, the Scavenging Goose will. I caused a ruckus. You're still on Pox. Oh, okay. Well, Pox is sweet. Um, we need to finish out this league, though, that we're in. And what sucks is Game 2 shouldn't have honestly been what happened. Um, I still, I, I want to play it out because we're getting to test a lot of these engines one last time, like the Loam engine. Um, but I think I'm going to let it go. We also get to test Ronus in this version. Um, but I think I'm going to let this version go. And we'll, we'll play it out just to see how it would have done. But um, I think I think we're going to move on to a, a, this version. And I'm tempted to add a 20 second land over the first Mold Drifter. I'm tempted to just add another Talaria West so that we can balance more often. So I think, I think, I do want to test a Shriek Maw. I was either going to ter test third push or I'm going to test the first Shriek Maw. I kind of do want to either test a second Talaria or I want to test the first Mold Drifter. Um, I think the Mold Drifter could be sweet. Because we tested this deck with double Talaria. We didn't like it that much. I'm worried about being only 21 lands, which would be a reason to test another Talaria. Um, even though it's a tapped land, at least I could like turn one. Okay, we'll play the Talaria. You know, we know we have another one in the deck that we can find later. Um, something else to note, although the Traverse does like us having a heavy green, like, we still technically want a heavy green mana base, even though this version isn't even running the, um, that one engine. And part of the reason is, is you'll notice, like, things like Thrun thrive on a lot of green. Um, traverse into any of our plays wants green. I mean, like, if you're traversing into Eternal Witness, you need three green sources. So I still think the deck thrives on a reasonable amount of green, and then black and blue are the splashes. Um, yeah, a lot of our different interactions involve green in some way. And then, of course, when we're doing the Talaria Westing, we need blue-blue. Um, It's a little quiet in here, though. Maybe maybe I will put music on after all. I don't know. I'm 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 gonna try not to break. I'm gonna try. Oh, we've been paired. I'm gonna try to, to stick with tonight. No music unless you guys want it to happen. Whoa! Balls McGee with the resubscription. Can't wait to see the next deck that you submit. Balls. Holy crap! Has it really been four months since we start since we started this whole? Game Wisp subscription thing. Holy crap, man. Thank you so much. We're going to mull this in. Thank you so much. That's a really big deal. I'll keep here. That's a really big... Uh, I don't know if I can keep this. You know what? If I'm not keeping that, what am I doing? Right? Thank you so much, Balls. Holy crap, that's a big deal. Four months. 
That's a commitment right there. I'm sure some people haven't even had a relationship last four. I'm just kidding. God, why do you have to make it so personal, Bruce Spy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, God. It's happening. Next deck will likely not be after till after Vegas. Here's to four months. Yeah, dude. Here's to... I'm not drinking tonight. I'm just drinking some water. But here's, here's to us. Here's to us, right? No, we've been denied. Okay. Well, that's a denial that was going to maybe screw us over later. And we didn't have to lose a million life points. Only some. So how big's Goyf now? Goyf is a 4-5. Goyferino is a 4-5 Verino. Skawa. Tazagur. So Goyf shrinks back down. Womp, womp, womp. Oh! As we're told. With the... Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's stick Goyf. Ooh, I should have played Goyf off of the fetch, actually. That would have really hurt, but... Then he wouldn't... I mean, he's not... Well, he is dead to bolt, potentially, here. They do run some number. Okay, so he's going to break up my As we're told Ancestral, probably, here. But at least we get to keep the Traverse. Stubborn on thoughts. He's actually an amazing use of the card. I, I, I buy that. Okay, woo. Terminate. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so he breaks up the Azertold. Ooh, there's the Thrawn. Maybe we get to try him out. So I'm on three card types. I've got four card types if I fetch. So we actually could traverse into another Goyf. We could traverse into another Goyf. Um, I'm just trying to see what else I have for this matchup. Let's see, Ronus. Ronus plus Thrun is sweet. I might just try to set that up. Like, I might just suspend my Ancestral, try to set up Ronus. And, uh, okay, so that would be the watery gray. No, it's already played. Um, green, green, black, black, right? No, I don't. guess I don't need black, black. I guess I could just get the Feet of Pools. Well, we, don't, we want green, green, sorry. So I need to get either Breeding Pool or Overgrown. Let's actually get Breeding Pool. Let's, let's search up Ronus. Because we said Ronus plus Thrun is like a Wombo against Death Shadow. Spend. Yeah, if I can go over the next couple turns, if I can go Ronus into Thrun, maybe we can win. We did say that this was something we were testing in this version. We wanted to try these two together. They, they have a bit of a bromance. The Cobra certainly likes the Troll. Yeah, like, this guy is hard for them to remove, and then this guy's uncounterable and hexproof, and then once you have the two on the table, you have nine power that can't be removed. So I'm going to go to seven, though. Shadow. Oh, I might just be dead before I get to do it. And that's the thing we talked about, you know? I might just want to get the hand knowledge, because we're just dead. Show me your last card, and then we'll board. It's okay. We can win this matchup. We can But yeah, we talked about assembling Ronus plus Thrun against Death Shadow. Alright. Um, Garrick, yep. Thinking Garrick. Glenn, I don't know. Big game, certainly. Maelstrom Pulse. Decays can come in. Um, outside of that, I mean, maybe you want Scavenging Ooze. This is a grind. They are a Snapcaster deck. Would you even consider the Graph Diggers? I think that might be too deep, but, but maybe not. They are a four of Snapcaster deck. That's something we could talk about. Maggot comes out. Brutalities come out. Flushes stay. Like all those hard removals. I'm actually cutting the Dark Heart Loam engine, I think, finally. It's kind of been my pet interaction for the deck, this package right here. I'm gonna miss it. I, I think it's a good I think it's a step in the right direction for the deck though. And although it pains me to see that go, I, I think I think in the end it's it's gonna be better for the deck. Uh, let's go ahead and cut cage. I think we can, I think we can win without it. That denial on the seas was the turning point. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe maybe this is over before it began. Right now. All right, 
push weirding. I mean, 